Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a 20 minute beginner kettlebell workout. I'm gonna be using a 20 kilogram kettlebell, but make sure to use whatever weight you feel comfortable with. We're going to be doing four exercises, one minute of work followed by 40 seconds of rest, and then we're gonna be doing three of those rounds. I hope you enjoy this workout. Let's get going. Okay, so first up we've got deadlift. We hinge at the hips and bend at the knees. Two hands on the kettlebell, and then we're gonna keep a neutral spine, engage the core, and then drive through the heels to bring the kettlebell up. We're gonna be starting in a few seconds. We've got a minute of deadlifts. Let's go. So, hinge at the hips, bend at the knees, and then we're gonna drive through the heels. Make sure to engage your core. Really important that you keep a neutral spine here. You don't want to be hunching over. We'll be staying really strong in the upper body. And then we drive through the heels. Bring the kettlebell up. Our feet are about shoulder width apart. You can slightly turn out the toes if you have limited mobility as you're going down. That way, if you bring the toes out a bit, it might be a bit easier. Bring the kettlebell up just depending on how that feels for you and your current mobility. Okay, got about five more seconds. And take a rest. Okay, 40 second rest now. Make sure you've got some water with you today, something to keep you hydrated. Have a sip of water in these rests. Also, if you need a bit of extra rest, then no problem. Just pause the video, come straight back in when you feel comfortable. So, next up, we've got the kettlebell swing. We've got two hands on the kettlebell. We start with it in front of our feet, so you can see a triangle shape between the kettlebell and your feet. What you're gonna do is you're gonna bring the kettlebell back, and then as you bring it back, we hinge at the hips. Keep a slight bend in the knees, but we're not bending too much in the knees. Let's go. We bring it up and then we drive the hips forward. And the driving of the hips forward is what is going to bring the kettlebell up. The important thing here is that we keep our arms relatively loose. The arms are not the thing that are, that's bringing the kettlebell up. It's the momentum of driving the hips forward. The plant those heels into the ground, hinge at the hips as the kettlebell comes down. It should come just under your crotch. So not down here, we don't want to be bringing it down here, just under the crotch. And then we drive the hips forward. And that's what's going to swing the kettlebell up. Really important to extend the hips here. Okay, we've got 10 more seconds. Okay, now take a rest. Right, next up we have farmer's carry. So, we're gonna come to one side of the mat or whatever space that you're exercising in today. We're gonna start with the kettlebell outside of the right foot. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna bend down by bending at the knees, engaging the core, make sure that you lift the kettlebell correctly. This is a suitcase deadlift here because we're bringing the kettlebell up on one side. We're then going to walk to the other side of the mat, turn around and walk back again. So safely bring that kettlebell up and then we're going to walk to one side of the mat, turn around and then walk back again. Now try and think about retracting your scapula, that means pinching your shoulder blades together Engaging your core. So we're about halfway through this exercise, which means we're gonna to switch to the other side. So now bring the kettlebell outside of your left foot and do the same thing. Remember to pinch your shoulder blades together. Engage your core. What about 
about five more seconds. Okay, rest, 40 second rest now. Last exercise of this first round. This is gonna be a bent over row. So feet are about hip width apart, maybe a little bit wider. And then we hinge at the hips, slight bend in the knees. Now, really important here, we keep a neutral spine. Again, try and think about retracting the scapula, so pinching the shoulder blades together. Then we grab the kettlebell in one hand. We bring the elbow up towards the body and away from the body, and then lower back down. And that's your row. We're gonna alternate those rows, so we do a different hand each time. Let's go. So I start with the right arm. We bring it up, elbow goes up and out, and back down. Switch to the left arm left arm and then down again so really important here that we keep a neutral spine even an arch in the spine is good an arch backwards so it's really important we're engaging the core you will also feel this in your hamstrings here behind the knee that's because the weight is going to be in the heels really important and really important that we Pinch the shoulder blades together as we bring the kettlebell up. Tough exercise this one, really good for the back and the core and the, post well, the whole posterior chain really. It's a fantastic exercise. We've got five more seconds. Okay, take a rest. That's the end of the first round. We're gonna repeat those four exercises. Take a sip of water if you need. We'll be starting next again with deadlifts. Get ready to go. So deadlifts, hinging at the hips, bending at the knees, driving the heels through the ground and engaging the core. Thirty seconds to go. One thing to think about always is your breathing when you're doing resistance training. And a good place to start is to think about breathing out as you're lifting the weight, and then breathe in as you're lowering back down. Take a rest, 40 second rest. Next up, we've got the swing. Now again, I want you to think about the breathing this time. So every time that you drive your hips forward, you swing the kettlebell up, I want you to do a quick, short um, outburst of breath. And then as it comes back in, you breathe back in. So as you lower the kettlebell, you're breathing in. And then as you push it out, there's your short, quick release of breath. That's gonna help you to engage your core. It's gonna help you to be strong. We've got five seconds, and then we're gonna get going. So let's get ready for that swing again with both hands. Think about that breathing. Hinging at the hips, extending the hips forward as we swing the kettlebell up. Arms are just along for the ride. You don't need to lift the kettlebell too high either. Just up to about chest high, even just below. It's absolutely fine. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Five. 
and take a rest. Make sure you put that kettlebell down safely. You always want to finish up where you started off, which is at the point of the triangle shape that we're making with the kettlebell and our feet. So, farmers carry next. Take the kettlebell back to the end of the mat or the space that you're exercising in today. Again, we'll start with the right arm. So kettlebell's gonna start outside of the right foot. Make sure you pick it up correctly. That means that we want to pick up with our legs. We're gonna bend at the knees to pick up the kettlebell. So bend at the knees, neutral spine, engage the core. Pick up that kettlebell and then walk to the edge, turn around, walk back again. Retract the scapula, engage your core. Think about being really strong in that upper body. Of course, most of the work we're doing with the legs here, but we stay safe, we stay injury free by focusing on every part of the body when we do these exercises. <sighs> right, let's switch it to the left hand. So left hand now, walking back and back and forth. And take a rest. 40 second rest, bent over rows next. So remember, just like last time, slight bend in the knees here. We don't want to lock the knees out, we need a slight bend. Hinge at the hips, and then proud chest, neutral spine, one hand on the kettlebell. We're gonna row it up by bringing the elbow up towards the body and then out to the side. Slowly lower back down, and we're gonna alternate which arm that we do the row with. Five seconds, stay with me. You're doing really well so far. Let's smash the rest of this workout. Okay, alternate bent over rows, let's go. Again, think about your breathing. So when you lift it, breathe out. Breathe in as you lower down. We call this the concentric and the eccentric phase of each lift. And in the concentric phase, which is the shortening of the muscles, that's when we're gonna breathe out. And then in the eccentric phase, that's where we're gonna breathe back in. 20 seconds, let's go. Ten seconds. Starting to feel it now. Oh, a few more seconds. Take a rest. Excellent work so far. You'll be happy to hear we've got one more round of this. And then we're finished with the workout. So take a sip of water if you need. Let's get ready to do it again. So this is where you've got to start digging deep. Get to the end of the workout. Just remember what motivated you to click on this today. What motivated you to get your kettlebell and do these workouts. I promise you that you'll feel amazing after. Okay. One minute of deadlifts, let's go. Last round. And focus on your breathing. Focus on your form. If you can do this in front of a mirror or film yourself doing it, that's great. It might feel a bit weird at first, but it really improves your form to be able to watch yourself back and see how you're moving, keeping in mind all of those form pointers. Fifteen seconds. Great work. Stay with me. We've got five more seconds. 
Okay, take a rest. 40 second rest. We're gonna get ready for swing. And then the swing next. <clears throat> I'll, do this ne I'll do this one facing this way, just so that you can also see a side view, if that's gonna help you with your form. It takes a long time to get the swing right. It's one of the hardest um, kettlebell exercises for form. It takes a long time to do, and I even see lots of, you know, famous fit people and stuff, and you see them doing the swing, and it's just all wrong. They're either, they're either squatting down too much, or they're using their arms to lift that kettlebell up really high. And that's fine, you know. It is okay that it takes a long time to get the form right on this. It's a tough exercise. So that's why coming back to this workout, practicing, filming yourself, doing it in front of a mirror, it's all gonna really help. And then when you've got the proper form, the benefits are just amazing for this exercise. It's all about extension of the hips. I know I keep saying it, but it's so true. Really focus on your breathing as well. Great work. Got about 10 seconds. Take a rest. Great work. 40 second rest. Two more exercises. Stay with me, let's do this together. Farmers carry. So, we'll start the kettlebell outside the right foot. Oh, 20 seconds more rest. Grab a sip of water if you need. We've got two more exercises, let's smash this. Oh. <clears throat> okay, farmers carry. One minute, let's do this together, let's go. The slower you do this, the more benefit and the safer that you'll be, the less likelihood of injury in the farmer's carry. So you don't want to be sort of running with the kettlebell. That's just going to potentially cause harm to you and anything around you in your home as well, not good. Okay, let's switch to the left arm. 30 seconds, let's go. If you need to take a rest, that's fine. Just grab a little rest, pause the video if you need. The next time you come back to do this workout, you'll be a little bit stronger. You'll be able to stay in there a bit longer. Trust me, it won't be long at all until you smash through the whole workout. Take a rest. Great work. We've got one more exercise and then we're done. Oh, so bent over rows to finish. It's a challenging upper body exercise. It gets your back really strong. It's really good for, there's just so many benefits. I love this exercise. We've just got to really focus on our form. What we don't want to be doing is we don't want to be hunching over, pulling that kettlebell up. We want to be in this really strong position, strong back, keeping everything engaged. All right, let's get ready to go. Last exercise. Let's do this. Bent over rows for one minute and then we're done. Stay with me. Keep going. You can do this. Thirty seconds. Keep going. You're doing so well. Let's smash the end of this workout together. Ten seconds. Come on. Let's do this. Oh. 
One more. Oh, and rest. That is it, well done. You absolutely smashed it. You should be really proud of yourself. You did so well. Well done. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that workout. Drop me a comment, let me know how you got on. Let me know where in the world you're doing this workout from. Um, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Show me some love, please, it always helps. Thank you and I'll see you on the next workout.